Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what can you expect in love, what are the current energies for you in love, and then we'll look at the energies between you and the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. We'll also look at where all of this is headed in the near future. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Pisces watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies for you and leave the rest. All right, for Pisces, spirit angels, guides, what messages, what guidance do you have for Pisces? Any guidance, messages, clarity for Pisces regarding love. Let's see what energies we get for you, Pisces. Okay, overall energy, what can you expect in love? The three of swords, I don't know. The Knight of Wands, okay, some sort of action. Four of Cups. Interesting, I feel like there's some sort of interest here, but it might not be reciprocated. Okay, let me see what's on your side here. The Tower and the High Priestess, oh no. You've been shocked by something or something's unexpected that's gonna happen here like a secret comes to light or someone reveals something to you or you realize something Pisces on their side is the Sun and the Queen of Wands Aries Leo Sagittarius hmm well the Sun and then I the high priest is to me they're opposite energies because the Sun is the opposite of the moon so I feel like you're probably able to see them clearly and I think it's because of some sort of action they take Okay, let me put down here the future energies and we'll look at them in a second or later on in the reading. I'm just distracted by what I see here because it's like it's like getting whip, whiplash in a way. Overall energy and bottom of the deck is the page of cups. So someone expressing themselves in an emotional way, an apology perhaps. We'll see what the heck is going on here. Okay, let me get, let me use this deck. Um, oh, actually, before I start clarifying, let's get some energies here. Maybe we can get a little bit more insight into what's going on. Can you tell me some more um, about what's going on in this connection spirit for Pisces? What do we need to know about the energies for Pisces? What do we need to know? Hidden feelings. Silence, suppression, fear, what else? Secret admirer, okay, yeah, there's definitely something going on here where it's like, things are like hidden, secretive, secret um, admiration, secret feelings that someone might have for another person, and unhealthy attachments, bonds, toxicity, codependency. Interesting, there might be an unhealthy attachment here or an unhealthy dynamic. Maybe somebody doesn't know, you know, how to not have Boundaries, we'll have to see. Can I get a kipper? Can I get some more insight, please? Can I get some more? Also, when I see unhealthy attachment with things like hidden feelings, secrets, I think that someone might have been deceptive or hidden something, and it's because they weren't doing things right. So we'll have to see what else we got here. Get some more insight, please, for Pisces. Imprisonment, number 29. It's about feeling stuck. But I'm also getting with this energy, I don't think that this is the right interpretation, but I almost feel like someone is paying for a crime, paying for something they did. Okay, so let's get to clarifying because clearly things are happening here. Can I get some more insight, please, for Pisces? Clarity inside, please, for these energies. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Three of Cups. Okay, so there could have been um, someone that wasn't loyal to you, someone that interfered in your connection. 
someone that caused issues in your connection. The hangman, okay. And I feel like someone's thinking about this a lot. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. This was painful, heartbreaking, difficult with the Three of Swords. Two of Swords, what to do? A choice between two as well. Mm. Maybe you have feelings for someone that's already in an attachment or vice versa. Maybe that's what's happening here. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Eight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Wands here? For Pisces, why is the Knight of Wands here? Oh, I got two. Three of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone's actions hurt another person. Eight of Wands. They could have left a situation. They could have walked away and that was painful. But I feel like this was somebody that didn't think about what they were doing before they did it. They just did it. And it hurt another person. Tell me about the Four of Cups. This is about disinterest, dissatisfaction. Could even be depression. Justice, Libra energy. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Is that the star? Did it flip while I was shuffling? Aquarius energy. Hope, faith, renewal, interesting. I feel like someone's hoping for something after they've been screwed over or hurt. I don't know if this is you or this other person, Pisces. Okay, tell me about the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? The King of Cups. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like someone wants to make things right because they're still in love with this person or have feelings for this person. But the Four of Cups is telling me there's disinterest there. Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands? She showed up twice. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. When I see her, I think of someone like impulsive, bold, loud. And I don't. I don't picture you being that energy. I think that someone interfered in a connection or someone cheated. And maybe they want to make things right. Who knows? Maybe they do want to make things right. But there's something unhealthy or toxic about their behavior. Let's go down to your energies here. Pisces, I have you on the left and your person on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Get some insight, please, on these energies for Pisces. Can you tell me about Pisces, please? What's the energy that Pisces is bringing to this connection? What's the energy that Pisces is bringing to this connection? The hawk. Bottom of the deck, the frog. I think you're the one that wants to fix things. The hawk is watchful, all seeing, the ability to see everything as well as the big picture. Message, a special message that needs to be delivered, that could redirect things. I feel like you're the one that wants to fix this tower. But I'm wondering why. Because I don't know. I feel like you were mistreated. Tell me about this other person that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? Hmm. The hyena and the star. Oh my goodness. These are like the two worst ones together. This person is not what they appear. They're not what they seem, Pisces. 
there's something off. Bottom of the deck is the crow. There's something off about this person. The starfish is about like illusions. I feel like there's something about this person that they it might look good on the outside, but on the inside there's something off. So be very careful. Because whoever this is, there there might not be honest with you. Let's see. Tell me about the tower and the high priestess. Tell me about the tower and the high priestess. What do we need to know, spirit? About the tower and the high priestess. What do we need to know? The six of cups. Tell me about the tower and the high priestess. I feel like something came down with the tower. Yeah, the ace of swords. There's something about the past that became clear, Pisces. Or about a connection from the past. Things became very clear. Tell me about the tower and the high priestess. You found something out here. Yeah, knight of swords. You found something out. And I feel like whatever you found out, you can't ignore it. You might have even observed this happening with the hawk. Maybe you saw something and it cost a tower. Maybe you realized something about someone's actions or you caught someone in a lie. Tell me about the sun and the queen of wands. Move these up. Yeah, I feel like you might, you could have even caught this person cheating or something like that. Or just caught them lying to you. Tell me about the sun and the queen of wands. Why is the sun and the queen of wands here? The nine of swords. Tell me about the sun and the queen of wands. Can you tell me about the sun and the queen of wands? The nine of pentacles. Tell me about the sun and the queen of wands. What happened here? The sun and the queen of wands. The four of cups and then the ace of cups. Yeah, six of wands. I think this person was unfaithful or lie to you about another person. They didn't necessarily have to cheat with them, but they lied about them. And I think this person might even tell you that they still care about you. Ace of Cups is here, but the Four of Cups is telling me that there's something off about that. I'm also picking up for some of you, and this is only for some of you, but this person, they really care about how they look. There's something about their appearance that is almost like, I don't know, they really care how they appear, but they care about looking good for other people, which doesn't make sense if they're with you. I'm also getting that some of you, this person looks good on the outside, but inside it's not good. There's something off there, and I don't want to just put a blanket statement out there, but I'm not picking up good energy, Pisces, so be very careful. Trust your intuition. Listen to your inner voice. Figure out exactly what it is. I feel like you already did, but I feel like, you know, I don't want you to have all of this knowledge at your disposal about this other person. And then instead of using that knowledge to make decisions, you decide to set that knowledge aside because of what this person might be telling you. Do you know what I mean? Let's look at the uh, near future energies. The Ten of Cups, the Page of Coin, the Nine of Swords. I think this is your person. I feel like your person is going to come in with an offer after they messed up. I don't want to cuss on my channel, but... Can I get some clarity, please, on these energies for the future, near future outcome for Pisces? Can I get some insight on this Ten of Cups? Tell me about this Ten of Cups. And I really feel like this person has some serious cojones to be coming to you with this Ten of Cups and Page of Coin. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Tell me about the Ten of... Yeah, see, there's the moon again. Pisces, there you are. Four of wands and the five of wands. I think this person is doing damage control. 
I think they're doing damage control. Because maybe they're worse off without you. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Some of you, this person, their finances will be affected if you decided to just be down with them. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles, please. They might even buy you something, give you like a gift. I'm picturing them like bringing you something that you like. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Yeah. You know what I'm getting here? I'm getting, first of all, I'm thinking of this imprisonment card. I don't know why, but I am. This person is doing damage control because they have no one else to blame. Now that they've been caught in this lie and caught red-handed, you know, and, and seen for who they truly are. I feel like they're trying to hide behind this offer. I don't know. I don't like this person. I mean, I don't like to say that because obviously you know this person more than me, but I just, I don't like this energy. I don't understand the purpose of this energy. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. You know, it's like, it's like they want to do something after they've been caught. They want to be a good person after they've been caught. Four of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Yeah, there's fear here. They're they're terrified. There's Judgment, Second Chances, and the Emperor. Aries Energy. There's the King of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. You know, let me make things right. I'm, I need to make things right. I need to make things right, you know? Some of you, this person might even involve like a parental figure or someone older that, you know, almost as if to vouch for them. Or maybe they, they're going to appear to be this mature, wiser individual. But, you know, be very careful with that. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Pisces. What do we need to know, Spirit? About this person's energies towards Pisces. What do we need to know? What do we need to know, Spirit? about this person's energies towards Pisces. You are my soulmate. I made a mistake. Okay? Let's get some hidden truth. Oracles here. Some of you, this happened because you saw something on their phone. I'm just getting that message. You saw something on their phone or you you saw them in public or you saw them do something in public that you didn't like or on the phone that you didn't like. Others of you, I'm getting that they lied about finances. Maybe they told you that they, um, something to do with uh, work. This is about work. Okay, something to do with work. They lied about their position, the amount of money they made or something to do with them having a job. Okay, that's obviously not for everyone, but it's, I'm seeing them, so I wanted to share. Can I get one more? One more, please, for this person's energies towards Pisces. What do we need to know? I can't stop thinking about you. I look for you everywhere. I feel you leaving me behind. Bottom of the deck. Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own actions, right? So, like, that's what I'm picking up here. Let me get a seller soul me. Why not? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else, please? Any other guidance? Towards Pisces. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Please don't shut me out. <laughs> I have kept my true feelings buried deep. You have taught me so much. When I miss you, I look at photos of you. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that they are, they're, they're, they're experiencing consequences. You probably put them in jail. Not, possibly not literally. Like, <laughs> I don't think you call the cops on them, but you know what I mean. I think you cut them off and they're terrified, Pisces. They're terrified. 
So that's what I have for you. Um, I'm not going to go any further because I feel like this person's energy is very clear and I'm trying not to put my own personal um, feelings into this reading because you obviously know this person more than me and you know the situation more than me. So let me know in the comments though if this resonated for you um, and if you're comfortable with sharing then of course uh, the comments are there and I love reading from all of you so thank you so much for all of your support all of your kind comments like the video if you enjoyed the reading subscribe if you haven't already and i'll be seeing you all in another video very soon take care